Fox's Super Sunday with Terry Bradshaw and Howie Long. We're back in the skybox with the man, the 90210, Jason Priest. How you doing, guys? When's the new season premiere? Uh, Wednesday night. Hey, listen, I gotta ask you. What's it like doing all those steamy love scenes with those great-looking ladies? Terry, do you Terry. do your own kissing or you got a stunt double? Terry, listen, Jesus, there's a new series. Wild Oats is about to start, so... Hey, us guys know all about sowing wild oats. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hey, look, if you ever need a stand-in... This isn't the first time, Liz. Look, you sleep with a guy on the first date and complain when he doesn't call you back? Listen, I'm insecure, okay? It's been a week since Todd called. I am so upset I gave all my clients the same haircut. I screamed at my mother. I've got a weird rash on my upper thigh with Todd's name in it. Look, I have been dumped too, but I handled it. Yes, I did. God. I can still see him playing with his Luke Perry hair. Look at you. How are you ever going to meet a woman? All you ever do is go to work, come home, and spend the rest of the night with your nose in a book. Hey, for once, why don't you put your nose somewhere where it's going to do you some good? Jack, when I go out with a woman, I want it to be because there's an attraction on more than just a physical level. You wouldn't know about that. Your idea of fun is anonymous sex with some cheap girl who doesn't eat too much. <laughs> hey, hey, wait a minute. What about that year of hell I spent with Shelly? Don't I deserve a little relaxation after that? <laughs> God, even now I can still see her slathering that aloe vera on her elbows. Get a grip, Liz. If you're so upset about Todd, why are we going to the hangar? To totally forget about him. To stay active, to circulate. Hoping to run into him? If there's a God. <laughs> Look at you. You're freezing up. It's just a blind date. You don't have to marry the girl. Hell, you don't even have to like her. Look, Brian, we're talking about two blonde sisters here who are not only beautiful, but more importantly, they can hardly speak a word of English. <laughs> Jack, how many times do I have to tell you your blind dates are not for me? Huh. Really? Did I fail to mention that their combined measurements are 78 double F? No. <laughs> Well, as long as they're an even split. Right. I can't go out there. The public color will be worse. Oh my God, I need this job. My eyes are itchy. I'm stuffed up. I'm desperate. With a leading allergy brand, you'll still be stuffed up. But with new Dayquil, you won't. New Vicks Dayquil Allergy. More medicines for more complete relief than the leading brand. What a day. New Dayquil Allergy. The anytime stuffy nose, sneezing, runny nose, itchy, watery eyes so you can face the allergy season medicine. And new Children's Dayquil Allergy. I think it's every parent's dream, maybe, to have a doctor in the family. Bud Dry's? Bud Dry is dry brewed. Using less water than light beers. And less water means more beer taste. Mm. Besides, who needs more water anyway? Everybody here looks so desperate. Oh, I don't like to think of them as desperate. I prefer horny losers chumming for nasty. You guys horn dogging tonight, or are you just here for the show? I'm just waiting for you to get off, Kathy. You sure didn't when we went out. <laughs> I think she still wants me. <laughs> ah. The Cavassi sisters have arrived. Sweet Lord. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Whoa, 
I think I lost the crown in there. <laughs> Natasha and Tanya Kavasi, Brian Grant. Hi, uh, Jack tells me you're from Eastern Europe. Wow, well, what history you must have observed. Uh, were you caught in the upheaval? I have a push-up bra. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot mine. And on the seventh day, he rested. <laughs> I just want to warn you, Natasha does not do anything on the first day. <laughs> then I don't do first. <laughs> We are so close that whatever I am thinking, Tonya is usually thinking too. Yeah. That's so. Yeah. Can you guys prove it? <laughs> okay. Tonya, what am I thinking right now? Nothing. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's got to be a trick to that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, God. Mm. It's her. Who? Who do you think? The one who dragged me to that fried green tomatoes. The one who left Bride's magazine in the can. Shelly's here? Hey, she looks terrific. Oh, this was a mistake. I'm a school teacher. I should be at a coffee house or a bookstore or a dinner party. Or in bed. Do you see what this place does to me? Oh, my God. It's Jack. You want mail? No. Let's get this over with. It's any consolation, your butt looks great. Shelly! You look great. Thanks. Jack, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... How long has it been, huh? Six, Six months. months. <laughs> Brian. Shelly, you remember Brian, right? And this is my mom and my Aunt Belle. Yeah, they, uh, they just winged in from Nebraska. We can be at the drink good night. Yeah, nice to see you're still a pig. Hey, where are you going? My tetracycline just ran out. I can have a drink with you now. Oh, are, are you sure I won't bore you? If I remember correctly, you get tired of nice girls like me. You prefer dangerous women. Really? Yeah. Well, I'll have you know that I do not prefer dangerous ow, women. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, maybe I do. But you didn't give me any space when we were going out, and that sabotaged the oh, whole relationship. Oh, 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 I gave you plenty of space. This is ridiculous. Fine. God, we're going. Just a second. Hi, um, I know this is kind of a long shot, but, uh, do we know you two know a guy named Todd Giddleston? Oh, yeah! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I've had enough, so I'm out of here. Great seeing you, Shell. Uh, you look terrific. Thanks, so do you. So how you been, huh? Great, hmm? great, yeah. I finally finished grad school. Oh, so you're a social worker. That's right. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of working on the social part now. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. oh, Brian, I forgot what a sweet guy you are. Isn't he just the sweetest thing? <laughs> Why don't we talk another time? Great idea. Excuse me, what are you doing? <laughs> Let's not forget who we're dealing with here. Shelly is still the same manipulating, demanding, overly dramatic whiner whose only redeeming quality is she's good in bed. She's good in bed? <laughs> to you last night you wimped out with natasha well i guess i just don't have the hormones you do lipizzan or stallions don't have the hormones you do <laughs> yeah and they gotta be driven 20 miles to do it in a stall <laughs> so about natasha what makes a man close the door on a sure thing well look, natasha is fine can we talk about something besides sex why <laughs> humor me you know when we were kids we talked about lots of things like what like snot <laughs> Is that what you like to talk about? <laughs> Not really. Okay. What do you want to talk about? I don't know, cars or uh, your latest photo assignment, Shelly's phone number, movies. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, can we go back one there? Excuse me? Shelly's phone number? 
<laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, God. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, look, I just, I think she's, you know, great. I always did. Wait. You're telling me that the whole time that Shelly and I were going out, you were sitting here quietly thinking she was, you know, great? <laughs> yeah. We went out a year, and my best friend never told me that he had the hots for my girlfriend. Oh, no, no, believe me. It wasn't the hots. If I had the hots, you'd have known it. What? You would have challenged me to a steel cage death match? Well, let's forget it. <laughs> All right? I'm not going to risk a lifelong friendship to get the phone number of your ex. Hey, I'm not going to risk our friendship either. You know me better than that. I take my relationships very seriously. It's time for Tanya to toodaloo. <laughs> Isn't she precious? Getting over tonight, chat? Well, only if we could have another superficial let's have sex and do very little else kind of night. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, toodaloo. Toodaloo. Thank you, Dr. Shane. <laughs> so, what were we talking about? Relationships and how much they mean to you. Right. <laughs> I'm going to give you Shelly's phone number. Really? Sure. Hey, definitely. Absolutely. Oh, who knows? You two might even be good for each other. Look, man, I really appreciate this. No I'm... problem whatsoever. Should be here under P for pain in the ass. Or, or maybe it's A for annoying, never lets an argument right? die, pain in the oh, ass. Or C for castrating, annoying, never lets an argument die, pain in, in your my ass. ass. Yes, yeah. okay, thank you very much. Never mind. Look, forget it. I'm not taking it. Oh, you're taking it. <laughs> we had a pact, remember? Baldini's class, fifth grade. No girl would ever come between us. Please, I want you to take it. No, look, I, I, I don't feel right about it. Look, I, I've got Tanya. What do I want Shelly for? End of discussion. Oh, okay. So Shelly and I got married and had kids. You could deal with it. Sure. 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 You know why? Because that will never happen! <laughs> Let me give you a few warnings. Hey, look, thank you. I've dated before. I've heard the gentle thump of the headboard against the wall. <laughs> okay, thumper. <laughs> I didn't want to have to tell you this, but as your best friend, I feel it's my duty to inform you. On our first date, Shelly and I... <laughs> oh, my God, no. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you never told me you guys did... Yes, thank you. On your first date. Yeah, see, this is the kind of woman we're dealing with here. The, so. the school teacher. Mm -hmm. The one with potpourri in her car. So, and this isn't the kind of woman I need after all. Who am I kidding? <laughs> Be in my room. Hello? Hey, Shelley, it's Brian. Brian, hey, how are you? Great. It was great seeing you last night. It's been a while. Yeah. Oh, that's mine. No, no, let's ignore it. I hate call waiting. Oh, me too. I never thought we had this much in common. <laughs> you know, seeing you last night sure brought back some great memories. Yeah? Yeah, like uh, driving you home when you and Jack got in the fight at the Bulls game. Uh, consoling you when Jack forgot Valentine's Day. <laughs> Picking out that cashmere sweater for your birthday. You didn't give me that sweater Jack did. Oh, right. I love that sweater. Thanks. <laughs> no, if, if this isn't too weird, I was wondering, you want to get some dinner or something? It is weird. Uh, but I would love to. <laughs> Great, how about Friday, around 8? Terrific. Good night, Brian. Good night. Good night, Jack. Good night. Wax on, wax off. Miss Spot. If she can put up with the master. I was going to... What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? If she can keep up with the training. That's impossible. Then she'll discover. Let go of me. How to stand up for herself. You put her away. <laughs> the next Karate Kid. Yes! Ready PG. At theaters Friday. Everybody needs some money sometimes.
When you need to send money fast, only Western Union lets you send it from home. Hello? Rita. Just call 1-800-CALL-CASH. Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. You can't prevent pizza burns, or blind dates, or family fun. But you can eliminate more zit-beating oil. Help prevent your pimples with new improved OxyPads. Oxycutum, exert control over something. What's brewing on the Coors Light Channel this fall? First, it's Loft Party, where everyone is much more fabulous than you. And yes, we've got a whole new batch of Coors Light Party tips. A good dip doesn't make up for a bad beer. Then, they're beautiful, they're perfect, they're mannequins. Coming this fall. The Coors Light Channel. Tap into us this fall. With Coors Labor Day guaranteed, every cloud has a silver bullet lining. See in-store display for details. Don't miss the season premiere of 90210, Wednesday at 8, 7 central. This is a Fox News update. U.S. talks with Cuba resumed in New York. They are aimed at ending the exodus of refugees, but Cuba is insisting that the U.S. must lift the economic embargo against the island nation. Sarajevo is preparing for the Pope's visit this week, but there are growing concerns about security. The Serbs are refusing to guarantee his safety. Vice President Gore arrived in Cairo for the U.N. Population Conference. Organizers hoping for compromises on abortion and birth control. This has been a Fox News update. Now through Monday, get unbeatable prices at University's gigantic four-day Labor Day weekend sale. Get 3.9% financing. Special purchase factory fresh Volkswagen Foxes. Two and four-door models with air. Your choice only $89.95. 94 Mazda 323 program cars, just $99.95. And 626 LX program cars, only $15,995. At University Volkswagen Mazda Saab. I-25 at San Antonio Northeast, exit 231. Open Sunday and Monday till our last customer leaves. Dean, you got a minute? Oh. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, I uh, found this under my bed. It must have been there for months. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> that wasn't even cute when I thought you were cute. What do you want? Look, I just wanted you to know that uh, you have my blessing if you want to go out with Brian. And what makes you think I need your blessing? I just know the way you think. You know? Really? Oh. Do you know what I'm thinking right now? Then I'm a jerk. That was too, too easy. Too easy, yeah. <laughs> but I know what that look's thinking. Uh-huh. That's the same look you had when we were staying on Lake Geneva, remember? Remember we came in all soaked? Took a shower. Lit a fire. Mm. And I opened up that bottle of Asti Spamanti Cella Lumbrusco. <laughs> God, we couldn't keep our hands off of each other. And we woke up the next day and realized we were sleeping in someone else's room. <laughs> Boy, they were sound sleepers. You know, I still wear her shoes. Do you? <laughs> oh, look, Jack, I've got a clap. Hey, well, what's the rush? What's the rush? This is my job. You know, responsibility. Hmm? Oh, this is starting to sound familiar. You know what your problem is? No, I don't know what my problem is. Why don't you tell me what my problem you is? You think life is one big jack party. You have no sense of commitment. And you haven't learned to lighten up. Oh, well, you haven't learned to grow up. Hey, look, I know I'm not perfect, but at least I don't pretend to be. <gasps> you know, the world doesn't stop every time you take off your pants. <laughs> In retrospect, I should have got a cheaper bottle of wine. Why'd they even make one? <laughs> This is the haircut you want? You really want the Katie Lang cut? <laughs> yes. No. I don't know what I want. Might this be because we're going through a little post-Jack stress syndrome? This is not about Jack. This is about Brian. Well, it's about Jack being Brian's roommate, and I can't go out with Brian because Jack comes with the package. Why are you doing this to yourself? I mean, Brian is, is this totally great, totally adorable guy who's been, like, drooling over you since forever. Oh, don't even pretend you never noticed that. God. Yeah, but it's like dating Beavis thinking you can avoid butthead. <laughs> the point is, Jack screwed up your life once, right? Do not let him do it again. 
All right, all right. Mm. I don't get it. Why did you want to stay here when we are supposed to go to my place? Now here's something. <laughs> don't worry, I'll be quiet. <laughs> oh, right. <Yeah. laughs> oh, wow. I'm back. This is totally bizarre. Yeah, listen, I knew it might be a little weird for you, so I had the place fumigated. Uh, also performed an exorcism, and uh, even brought in that little lady from Poltergeist. Had her do a psychic cleansing. Well, and besides, Jack's not here tonight. Oh, you're so considerate. I felt very connected to you tonight. One exorcism, this chick's doing cartwheels in there. <laughs> yeah, tonight was perfect. Picnic under the stars, listening to Mozart. How can you never take me Mozarting? <laughs> oh, Jack's idea of a romantic date is bowling. Oh. I know. <laughs> she rolls a 290, all of a sudden the game's beneath her. You are so different from Jack. You're very sensitive. Oh, God. What? Oh, <laughs> sensitive, that word. It's, it's the last thing you hear before you get the big blow off. You know, just because a guy doesn't like the Three Stooges, they label you Mr. Sensitive. Well, that is unfair. Sure, yeah, one Kenny G concert and you're branded for life. Oh. <laughs> How dare they? Enter one quilting bee, suddenly you're a laughing stock. It's... No, I'm, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to puke. Oh. <laughs> I think your roommate's really nice. <laughs> So how could such a sweet guy have such a jerk for a best friend? Oh, well, Jack's not such a jerk. I, mean, I guess I get along with everyone. <laughs> you, you know what they're doing in there? I'll tell you what they're doing in there. They're lip-locking. That's what they're doing. <laughs> Your, uh, your thesaurus isn't out here. You're disgusting. All right, all right, this looks bad. I admit it, but, uh, she was stuck on a word. In the kitchen. Brian, I'm really sorry. It's... Jack, kitchen, now! I'm gonna, I'll be in... You're a low-life scum. Yeah, well, you're a low-life scum. Me? Yeah, you. Why? 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 Because you purposely went out with my best friend on purpose just to piss me off. Oh, you know what? You're right. My plan worked. I said, hey, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to accidentally, on purpose, run into Jack and seduce his best friend. Yes, yes, what a wonderful plan. <laughs> Apology accepted. Come here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> see, I can still make you laugh. Well, well, what does that prove? That it wasn't all bad. I mean, we had some fun. Remember that time we mooned the funeral? <laughs> It wasn't just the sex. What are you doing, Jack? I don't see you for six months. Six months of peace and quiet where I totally get over you. And now you're back and you're tormenting me in ways I didn't think possible. That is why I hate you. Hate you. Hate you. Hate you. everything okay? Yeah, it's just, it's time for me to go. It's getting a little crowded in here. Oh, I had a great time tonight, Brian. Thanks. <laughs> what the hell went on in here? Brian, what we said back in Baldini's class, that still goes. We're gonna be friends forever, right? Yeah, you didn't answer my question. What happened in here? All right, I'm gonna level with you. Shelly came in here and she told me how she really feels. She told me how much 
she likes you and that she wants to see a lot more of you and I'm gonna have to start getting used to that no way <laughs> truth truth Wow. Boy, and for a second, I was sure you guys were in here playing tongue hockey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. You know, MCI makes it sound so easy to get big savings with those friends and family plans, but first you got to give out a list of names and numbers of your friends and family. Then MCI will try to call and sign them up, and still, anytime you call anybody not on your list, you won't save anything at all. You may even have to pay up to $36 a year in fees. Could be it's just a lot of hoopla after all. Your true voice. Hey, Garth, why'd you get a McDonald's? Oh, man, get this. They got Tina Turner's greatest hits. I don't really want to fight no more. Elton John's classics, rock sets, latest. Let's go to McDonald's. Yeah! Got Garth Brooks' favorites, too. Each full-length CD is $5.99. Cassettes $3.99 when you buy any extra value meal or large sandwich. One dollar from each CD and cassette benefits Ronald McDonald Children's Charities. Mr. Brooks, would you... Right, sign it. Sure. No. Trey Bettine, sign it. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. That was my only Tina. Oh, Medina. Oh, Medina. A mature look at breakfast. Hold on there, hot foot. You gotta eat. Breakfast? Will you relax? How about trying the big, ripe, sweet taste of Kellogg's Cherry Pop-Tarts? The nectar of the gods. Hot and fast from the toaster. We love cherries. Listen to the voice of maturity. They're good. Life is just a bowl of cherries. But skipping breakfast is a pit. Brian and I love going to the... Art house? Or multiplex. Ooh, multiplex. I like the sound of that. Let's go. Zach. Liz. <laughs> well, um, you want to go see a movie? Okay. But no subtitles, no musicals, no coming of age, no talking animals. No gender switches, body swaps, or Baldwin Brothers. Oh, God, it's come to this. All right. Good. Ah. So. Art house or multiplex? <laughs> Still a pig. Well, there you have it. Fox is Super Sunday. Thanks for joining us. Hope you had fun. And we'll see you every Sunday where the big dogs run right here on Fox. <laughs> see you then. So I met this girl. I asked her to dinner and a movie. She asked, what do you have in mind? So I said, Make it a blockbuster night and a border night too. Go to Taco Bell, buy tacos or burritos and a medium drink. Get a free blockbuster video. for a two-for-one blockbuster video rental when you buy food and a medium drink at Taco Bell. Cross the border.